what a sweetie. Hey guys, Matt Waxler here. We're back at Wheels Through Time, Drive for History. This week we're highlighting Harley Davidson 45s. For those of you guys that have been catching up with us on the drive, we've been highlighting rare machines here at the museum. Now, Wheels Through Time houses over 350 all American machines. And as you know, everything runs. Today we're highlighting this 1933 Harley Davidson Model RLD. Uh, incredibly rare machine uh, from Harley's uh, kind of depression era uh, production. Now the model RL 1932 to Harley, or excuse me, 1932 to 1936. Harley Davidson debuted their model 45 in 1929. Uh, model DL ran from 29 to 31. And then in 32, they kind of made some improvements, uh, revamped the machine entirely, uh, and came out with the model RL. Uh, here at the museum, there's an RL from every year of production, most of which are the high performance version, uh, and all of which uh, are in original paint, or several of which I should say are original paint, original paint, one from every year. Uh, the machine right here in front of us, 1933 Harley Davidson RLD. Now the RLD, uh, as I, I guess I've been calling most of these bikes RLs, I should say uh, this is the Harley Davidson Model R. So the two letters right at the end, uh, RLD, uh, actually are uh, variations of the Model R, their 45 cubic inch total loss three speed transition or transmission machine. So the Model R, uh, medium compression. The Model RL was their high compression version and then the RLD was their high compression, high performance version. So in 1933, Harley Davidson only made approximately about 3,000 motorcycles or a little bit more than 3,000 motorcycles. Uh, they made 68 of this particular model, the Model RLD. Uh, this bike was restored by my dad in the 1990s. Uh, he did a jam up job, uh, finished it in black and Mandarin red. Now the 1933 Harley Davidson paint job, uh, easily identifiable by the bird on the tank. So uh, this is right when Harley Davidson really from 1917 to 1932, you could get a Harley Davidson in any color as long as it was green, uh, as the common joke goes. Uh, 1932, 33, 34, they started, they really kind of took a hit from the Great Depression. Uh, sales were slim, as I said, uh, they sold just over 3,000 motorcycles this year. Uh, so. 1930s, Harley Davidson gets on the train uh, to start offering snazzier paint jobs and try to attract some more buyers. Uh, so 1933, Harley Davidson, we call it the bird paint job. It's one of our favorites here at the museum. Uh, just such a great look, uh, striped in gold and uh, just, just really one of the classiest Harley Davidson paint jobs ever. So the model RLD, uh, higher compression and higher performance than your standard R models. Uh, this here, if you check the engine out, now the model R started off, first big change was they moved the generator up to the front. Uh, some of you guys, if you caught up with our D model, uh, Max and Myler show with where we highlighted the DLD, uh, they called it the three cylinder Harley because of the vertical generator over on the left side. 32 comes around when they debut the RL, changed things to a front mount generator, increased the flywheel size a little bit. Uh, the machine ran much smoother as a result. So uh, big intake port cylinders on the model RLD, and then these what we call the cross fin high compression heads. So these were on the DLDs and the RLDs. This was actually designed by Harry Ricardo. Sir Harry Ricardo was the high speed internal combustion pioneer, uh, really one of the guys that uh, made horsepower what it is today. Uh, he designed these heads for Harley Davidson, uh, higher compression, better port flow. Uh, and uh, as a result, the machines made higher horsepower. Uh, so 1933, again, they only made 68 of these machines. Now here at the museum, 1933 is a special, special year. Uh, the lowest production year from Harley Davidson period. Uh, one of the machines we're really proud of here at the museum uh, is the Woolery Bullet. Now, the Woolery Bullet is a special model that Harley Davidson actually never even produced. Uh, this bike was sold through Guy Webb's Harley Davidson in Minneapolis for a special buyer. Uh, and what this machine is, produced in 1933, 
Now, the way I imagine this happening is, you know, in 1933, Harley Davidson will sell just about anything they can. Actually, at that time, they were even making stationary motors that weren't even for motorcycles. Actually, contracted the Worthington, uh, the Worthington Company to make a grass cutter out of one of their single cylinder B model engines, 350cc B model engines. Uh, so in 1933, Harley Davidson made this special one off model, uh, the Woolery Bullet. So what the machine is, is actually Harley Davidson's single cylinder chassis. So this is a chassis from a, C, a, a B model, 350cc single cylinder flathead, or a C model, the 500. Uh, now, the 350 chassis just happens to fit this earlier type DLD style engine. So again, Harley made this motor from 1929 to 1931. They actually used it for a special model two years after they stopped producing it in 1933. Stuffed it into this little single cylinder chassis. You can see the ultra skinny 28 or 26 by three wheels, super skinny little tanks, really sleek, light, but you got the big high performance uh, 45 cubic inch engine uh, uh, with the special heads, special intake ports, the big cams. Uh, so this machine actually, and here's a factory photo of it, if you guys can believe it or not. There it is, the Woolery Bullet. Down here in the corner, you see the actual archived photo number 13515. And uh, this is the left side. There's also photos of the right side that exist. Uh, so incredibly proud to have this machine here at the museum. As I understand it, this is the first photo from Harley Davidson to have the customer's name on the gas tank. So big special stuff. And again, you got to think 1933, these guys uh, will do anything they can to sell motorcycles. So they ended up uh, uh, doing the special order. This bike went 88 miles per hour in 1933. So, uh, Really, for a Harley Davidson 45, that's a big number. These machines are, you know, typically produced to run in between anywhere between 50 and 60, 65 miles per hour. They topped this one out when it was brand new, 88 miles per hour, which is quite a feat. Now, the back to the Model R's and the RLD in specific. In 1935, just two years after this bike was produced, Earl Robinson, come on over and check this out, Steve. This is an original poster from Earl Robinson's 1935 Transcontinental run. Uh, as you can see, Transcontinental record smash. They ran from New York to Los Angeles, actually went east to west on this bike, 77 hours and 53 minutes. Now, that sounds fast. Uh, and it is fast, even by today's standards. Now on a Harley Davidson 45, just a 750 cubic inch machine or 750 cc machine, uh, that's quite a feat. Most of the runs uh, prior to this time had been done on heavier weight machines. The VLs uh, from Harley Davidson's were 74 cubic inches. The JDs 74 cubic inches. Uh, Earl Robinson actually did the 77 hours and 53 minutes on the model rld 45. Uh, they say not a single repair had to be made uh, and the guy actually clipped 38 hours 38 hours uh, off the previous transcontinental record so pretty impressive stuff side note the same year earl robinson happened to win the jack pine endurance run 500 miles through Michigan, no roads, won the Jack Pine Endurance Run on the very same machine. So uh, really uh, one of the more accomplished riders of his era. Uh, you might recognize Earl Robinson was a husband of Dot Robinson uh, and really uh, uh, one of the, the more recognized names in Harley Davidson's throughout the 1930s, 40s and on. Uh, so incredible feats uh, really uh, 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 starting with the Harley Davidson 45 and um, you know, Harley Davidson would really push this uh, for for uh, getting new riders on their machines and and uh, used it as as uh, some of their better PR. So, uh, 77 hours and 53 minutes, if you can believe it. Uh, I can hardly do that in the pickup truck. So, uh, model RLD. This bike actually uh, was restored in the 1990s. Uh, it's here at the museum. It's a common visitor favorite. Bike's been a subject of David Yule paintings uh, and some of our advertising here at the museum. Uh, incredibly proud of it. It's a ton of fun to ride. It doesn't get ridden often enough. So with that in mind, I'm going to fire this thing back up, take it for a ride. 
Appreciate you guys joining in on the drive for history. We're firing up all sorts of rare machines this week, Harley Davidson 45s. Make sure you tune back in and uh, make sure you can make a contribution. Remember, you guys help fuel us, the museum that runs. Check out our lifetime membership, our online raffle. We're giving away a 1939 Harley Davidson knucklehead in November. Get your tickets. Check out our online gift shop. Support the museum that runs. Thanks a bunch, guys. Listen to her purr one more time.